Hello guys. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing today? I hope you all are doing perfectly okay. All right. Welcome you back to GDK on as channel as it is hot. All right. Now, you know, there is a video I made about just day before yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm sure most of you have watched that video concerning Frederick Leonard and uh, the, the, the Kama, the seer, the prophet. So, you know, the prophet said, just as I told you people that there is a prophecy on his head and the family, Peggy, you know, the wife and also the Felix Nonad. So, uh, he said about a spiritual thing, you know, doing a sacrifice in order for them to have peace in their home. You understand? So, according to him, he said that, you know, Felix Nonad is not supposed to marry a peg offering because they refused to they did not do this spiritual aspect of it because peg offering have a spiritual issue where Felix now know that also has a spiritual issue so now you know so i made a video about that. i've updated all my viewers and uh, i believe that the video might have reached Felix you know you understand so but you know I saw a comment on my post. Uh, one of my viewers was asking me whether if I can send the video to Frederick Nonad. Well, I would have loved to do that, but you know, I never know whether if the Frederick Nonad do believe in spirituality and all that. You know, there's a kind of people that they don't believe in prophecy. You know, they only see uh, prophets as fake people. You understand? Even when they are saying the truth, even when they are telling you something that God told them. I get what I'm saying. I know that so many things are happening now. There are so many prophets and all that, you know, just performing fake miracles and all that. So, but it has what my mom always tell me that, you know, take because of kidneys and you say you are not going to go to work. That means in my language, they said, I did a guy, I have a happy job. That means you not be afraid because of King you said you are not going to go to war. You understand? So what I'm trying to say is that it's not because there is so many prophecies, you know, fake prophecies and all that. And even when you see the real one that you not pay attention, no. So, you know, the problem now is that how for the Lord is going to, you know, see I maybe he has seen the video, you know, because the news is all over the internet. But I don't think is this kind of person that believe in prophecy you understand that is the problem so what i'm doing the making this video for i just want i want to reply to that my viewers who has been asking me to send that video to them so there is a kind of people you say you know they will be so agree with you because they don't believe in that somebody can harm them or they have spiritual problem you understand so you know let me just say 40 percent of problem people are having today is from their foundation and some of them don't believe that there is something called foundation, generational curse and generational issues. You understand? Even when you know that this is what you, you are going to do in order to get your problem solved, the person will still be doubting that, you know, you know, when you are so religious, when you are so religious that, you, you know, even when somebody is telling you the truth, because you are so churchous, you are so religious, if you should watch out, you find out that most of the people that are having problems now is all these religious people, people that are so religious, that is feel that they are so righteous, you know, they don't believe in tradition. But they, they don't know that, you know, there is something called, you know, foundation. If you understand the foundation of your problem, that is the only way you get it solved. Everything is not just about prayers. Die, die, die every time. Every time you pray, you be in the church, and your problem is not is not is not going to be solved. Every time you disturbing your pastor, you be praying, going to midnight. But but little do you know that it's just something you do, little something you do to get your problem solved. Just because you are so ignorant, you don't believe in, in tradition. You only say my faith. My faith, my faith, all this time. No, there are some kind of battle that you cannot fight alone. I don't know if I'm making sense. There are some certain battle that you cannot fight alone. 
you need helping hands you need sacrifice let me tell you what you don't know let me just shock you you see god you see this brother god he moved faster with sacrifice god loves people that do sacrifice just look at the issue of Cain and Abel. What happened? We all know this. Uh, what happened between Cain and Abel? God accepted the sacrifice of the person because, you know, he brought out something so big to do a sacrifice. You understand? Why God has not answered your prayer is because you always believe that everything comes, everything, your, all your problem will solve through prayer. No, don't be deceived. God loves sacrifice. You understand? So, what I'm trying to say is that I don't want to go deep in that issue. I just, that is something I just let to it. So, what I'm trying to say is that for the Lord, I don't know if he's the kind of man that do believe in spirituality. You understand? So, just I've, I've prayed for him that nothing is going to happen to him. You understand? But where I, 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 the point I'm trying to make is that the man said that he's not supposed to marry Peggy. That they have a spiritual problem, they are going to be having problem. you understand? So that is why some of our marriage, you know, 80% of marriage today is having issues. You understand? It's go to call, you see people, they are divorced every day, the other person will divorce his wife, you know, problem here and there. And you as a carnal person, you'll be seeing it as if, because they, they, they cannot stay together. No! There are spiritual aspects of it that is causing all this, but you people don't know. <laughs> you know, when you are too religious, you, you, you fail to understand the things of the spirit. When you understand the things of the spirit, let me tell you, you get your problem solved. That is just the truth. Don't be too religious. Everything you say in my faith, my faith is a uh, no, 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 no. Except you end up in church praying, praying. And people that understand the things of the spirit, understand, you know, the, 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 the language of God, will be receiving miracle. Look at all these occultic people. If they want to do sacrifice, they will use their, their last card. In, in fact, they will use the most precious thing in their life and do sacrifice. Why is it that they are sacrificing their, 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 their only son? Okay, if God should ask you to sacrifice your only son, what will you do? I'm sure most of you will refuse. But all these occultic people, they are doing it, and that's why they are progressing. So, get my point. If you understand the language of God, everything is not about prayer. Sometimes you need to do sacrifice. There's a particular problem you have. What it requires is sacrifice to get that problem solved. You understand? To get that problem solved. So, this year, you know, each time he's giving a prophecy, you understand? No, some of you don't believe in him. You always say that he, he predicts things and all But me, I pick point. Even when you are telling me something now, even when you are not saying the truth, I must pick something from what you are saying. Yes. I picked a point. He said he's not supposed to marry Peggy because Peggy has spiritual issue. Fedignona has spiritual issue. It could be a hot temper. When you get married to somebody that is hot tempered, and you also you are hot tempered, do you think you two stay together? It could come from you know spiritual thing that you need to do in order to solve the problem. Imagine somebody that you are dating. You people are going well, doing well, but immediately you come, marriage comes. Is that you start the man will start misbehaving or the woman will start misbehaving? You know you think it's just ordinary. Don't deceive yourself. Trace your root. Trace the root of your problem and get it solved. So, my viewers, you know, the reason why I'm making this video is because of the person that replied, you understand, in my, in my comment section. So, I don't know how I'm going to approach Felix. I don't know how I'm going to talk to him. I don't know whether if you have seen the video and all, all that. So, for the clear that is not just an ordinary person, you understand. So, I don't know his... His mentality, I don't know how he was grow up, whether he's this kind of person that believes in spirituality or, or not. But what I'm saying is that may the good Lord protect him. You understand? Frederick and his wife, they are good people. You understand? It's just that sometimes the ways of God is not the way of man. You understand? A little thing can separate you and your wife, and you think that it's just ordinary thing. And you never know that it's just a thing of the spirit. That you need to do some sacrifice for you to get out of that problem. You understand? 
So try and trace the root of your problem. If I'm updating you, listening to me, you learn a lot of things. Please help me and build this page. This is my channel. Share this video. Share it to your group, your friends. Please ask them to keep watching. Subscribe to this channel. Trust me, you are going to learn a lot of things. All right, thank you and God bless you. Please, if this is your first time of coming to my channel, you are highly welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are old, you are still welcome. This is Chidike on B channel where we discuss the matter as it is hot. All right, thank you and God bless everyone. Well, we're going to talk.